Hey there guys welcome back let's see another tcs coding question that was asked in february 2021 day 1 slot 2 question number 2 so the problem statement says that the caesar cipher is a type of substitution cipher in which each alphabet in the plain text or messages is shifted by a number of places down the alphabet for example with a shift of 1 P would be replaced by Q, Q would become R, and so on. To pass an encrypted message from one person to another, it is first necessary that both parties have the key for the cipher, so that the sender may encrypt and the receiver may decrypt it. Key is the number of offset to shift the cipher alphabet. Key can have basic shifts from 1 to 25 positions as there are 26 total alphabets. As we are designing custom Caesar cipher in addition to alphabets we are considering numeric digits from 0 to 9. Digits can also be shifted by key places. For example, if a given plain text contains any digit with value 5 and key 2, then 5 will be replaced by 7. minus sign will remain as it is because we here are including only alphabets and numeric characters key value less than 0 should result into invalid input okay so this is the question of encryption and decryption here we have to encrypt the given message or given text and the encryption will depend upon the key so here the encryption is Caesar cipher Caesar cipher is a type of encryption where we replace the characters with some different characters In this question we have to replace according to the given key So here if we have key equal to 1 and the letter is P then we have to replace P by Q because as the key here is 1 will shift P by one value So we'll replace P by Q. If our key is two and we have alphabet P, then we'll replace P by R. Okay. And in this question, we have to also consider numeric digits. If we have key equal to two and we have the value as four, then four plus two is six. So four will be replaced by six. Okay, and if we get any other symbol apart from alphabets and numeric symbols, we'll not encrypt them. Okay, so here the example is also given. If we get minus, then minus will remain as it is. Okay, and if we have space between the words, that space will remain as it is. So, for example, the plain text is all the best. and the key is 1 so all the best will be replaced by a will replace by b key is 1 l will replace by m so our first word will become b m m space t will be replaced by u h will be replaced by i and e will be replaced by f so our second word will become u i f similarly best will become c f t u okay write a function custom caesar cipher int key string message which will accept plain text and key as input parameters and returns its cipher text as output okay so we have to name our function custom caesar cipher and the parameters will be int key and string message okay so let's see this in code here we have a class caesar cipher and we'll create our method static void custom caesar cipher and we'll pass key and string as the parameter so int key comma string message we'll also make two helper variables string and char 
so string str is equal to empty string and char ch is equal to space here we can't take empty character because it is primitive data type now we'll check for key if key is less than zero then we'll print invalid input so system dot out dot print ln invalid input else we'll use your for loop for int i equal to zero i less than message dot length i plus plus so here we have to check character by character if our character is any alphabetic or numeric character then we have to encrypt it otherwise we have to leave it as it is so firstly we'll take the character at index i char c equal to message dot caret i and now we'll check if the character is alphabetic character or numeric character and in alphabetic character we have two cases that is uppercase and lowercase so here we'll get three cases that is uppercase lowercase and numeric character if the character ranges from 65 to 90 then it will be of uppercase if the character ranges from 97 to 122 then it will be of lowercase and if it is from 48 to 57 then that is numeric character that is from 0 to 9 so what here we have to do is if we have k equal to 1 and our character is p then we should get q so we'll do key plus character that will give us desired result but suppose if we have key equal to 1 and our character is z then we should get a so if we simply do key plus c then we'll not get a we'll get the character whose ASCII value is 91 okay so what we have to do here is we'll do c plus key minus 65 because we have first character is 65 so suppose our character is a and key is 1 then a plus 1 minus 65 that will give us ASCII value of a is 65 plus 1 66 minus 65 will get 1 and then we'll take the result and we'll apply modulus operator 1 mod 26 plus 65 so here we'll get 1 then we'll do 1 mod 26 that will result in 1 and 1 plus 65 is 66 that is the ASCII value of uppercase B so for key equal to 1 and character equal to uppercase A, we'll get uppercase P. So don't worry about this formula right now. You'll able to derive these types of formulas with practice. So this will be for uppercase characters. For lowercase characters, we'll simply replace 65 by 97 and we have 26 alphabets so 26 will remain as it is okay so let's get back to code if c is greater than or equal to 65 and c is less than or equal to 90 then we'll assign this value to the helper variable ch that we have created earlier so ch is equal to c plus key minus 65 inside bracket mod 26 plus 65 
and we'll convert this into character so we'll do here type casting bracket care else if this case is for uppercase characters now for lowercase characters c is greater than or equal to 97 and c is less than or equal to 122 then we'll assign ch is equal to c plus k minus 97 mod 26 plus 97 And here again we'll typecast it into character. And similarly for numerical characters, we'll replace 97 by 48. Else if C is greater than or equal to 48 and C is less than or equal to 57. So ch is equal to c plus k minus 48 mod here we have 10 digits that is from 0 to 9 and apart from this if we get any character then we'll simply skip that character or leave that character as it is okay so else ch is equal to c if we have characters apart from alphabetic or numeric characters then we'll do nothing like if we have space or minus sign as given in the question so we'll leave them as it is okay and for each character we get we have to form a new string from that characters So for this, I'll use that helper variable string to concatenate each character, okay? So str plus equal to ch and at the end of the loop, we'll print that string. So system.out.println str. Okay, now let's write the driver code. Scanner sc equal to new scanner system dot in int key equal to sc dot next int and string message is equal to sc dot next line. Okay, so here we have already taken next int as input. So we have to add here extra next line. This is because when we enter the int value and then we press enter, that integer value will be taken in key and the enter will be taken as next line. So for enter, we have to write here extra next line. Okay, so sc dot next line will not hold it in any variable okay because that is of no use this is just for enter and then string message is equal to sc dot next line and now we'll call our method custom scissor cipher and we'll pass here key and message and we'll import the scanner class import java.util.scanner now let's compile the code java c caesar cipher dot java ok so the code is compiled successfully now let's run java caesar cipher let's pass here 2 and let the string be all so here we should get in place of a we should get c and in place of l we will get n so our output will be c and n 
अपर केस सी एंड लोअर केस डबल एन ओके लेट्स सी ओके वी आर गेटिंग द करेक्ट आउटपुट लेट्स चेक फॉर वन मोर टाइम हेयर आर की इज वन एंड द वैल्यू इज ऑल द बेस्ट ओके सो वी आर गेटिंग द डिजायर्ड रिजल्ट ओके बी एम एम यू आई एफ सी एफ टी यू ओके दिस सी शुड नॉट बी कैपिटल ओके दिस शुड बी स्मॉल ओके लेट्स चेक फॉर सम अदर सिंबल्स लेट्स ए प्लस ओके वी आर गेटिंग प्लस एज इट इज राइट ओके सो दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो विल सी मोर प्रॉब्लम्स इन द फर्दर वीडियोज थैंक यू